Alright guys, I'm DeAnthony, Break Room Blitz. Thank you for watching. Um, so, on this episode we're going to be talking about Insecure Episode 6. Now, if you haven't watched the other episodes prior to Episode 6, go ahead and turn this off now because there's going to be some spoilers. We're going to actually talk about what happened. Now, so, Issa just walks in the house and she has to, to admit she slept with another man. I'm like, oh snap, what's she gonna do here? And then when he first starts, it's like, oh, I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna say this to you. I slept with another man. And her boyfriend gets up and was like, slap, I ain't no, uh, <laughs> I ain't no, I don't want no sloppy seconds. I ain't Russell Wilson. I was like, dude, bro. First of all, he slapped her. I feel like that's a bit much. But and then he threw shade at Russell Wilson, cause like I guess he took uh what was it uh, Meek or something like that? Took his girlfriend um, with Sierra. Like so now him and Sierra together, and that's kind of like his sloppy seconds, you know. So I'm like, dude. So but then it was all a dream. And she was like, oh, you know, rough day at work, but, you know, and, you know, there's nothing wrong, you know. And um, so I'm like, all right, it's a little better. And I felt like just walking in there and saying that is crazy. Um, so then, you know, they're about to have, they're about to, like, they're getting all uh, lovey-dovey and, you know, kind of sexual or whatever. And I'm like, girl, you ain't going to take no shower? You going to just be loving up on somebody right after you had somebody else's? Uh, ding -a -ling. Uh, I feel like uh, you need a shower first. Um, but they ended up not doing it because she kept having those flashbacks of how this other dude was giving it to her. And I'm like, dude, that is jacked up. And they ended up not doing it. She was like, can we just do another day? Kind of tired. And he's like, uh, okay. You know, like for me personally, we're not doing another day. Uh, we, we we sleep in the same bed, and we was just about to get it in. We're going to have to go through with it. What's, what's happening here? I, I feel like something is happening, and I, we got to talk. Let's talk. Let's talk it out. So, then her best friend is dating this uh, this guy that she, at first, she didn't want to. She wanted to date him, and then she didn't want to date him. Now, she wanted to date him again. So, she, came, she, went, she went over to his house after, I guess, being drunk at this party. And, you know, they kind of like hit it off. And she was asking him, so what was the, what's some of the craziest things you ever done? And they were going back and forth with some of these crazy things. This, see, this is why I say, don't ask questions like that. Don't, don't, you don't want to, I don't, me personally, I don't want to know how many uh, guys you slept with. Um, I don't want to know the craziest things sexually you ever done. I'm just going off of what you are right now. I don't want to know about your bad habits, your bad past. Uh, whatever happened in the past is, is over with. Don't matter. Because this is what happens. You find out something that you can't deal with and it bothers you so much to where you like, I can't do this. Not going to be able to do it. So, he ends up telling her one of the craziest things he did in college was that he let a dude go down on him. And then she was like, what? And he was like, yeah, you know, but yeah, I found it wasn't for me. I never did it again. And I tried to like brush it off and move on. And she was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and it bothered her so much that she was like, I don't know if I could do this, man. This dude didn't have to let some other dude go down on him, and I don't know. So she goes to her friend, Isa, and she tells her, like, this dude said he let another dude go down on him. I don't know if I can't get over that, you know, because I don't want to be with, you know, a gay man. They have a little group discussion about, like, why can a woman, I guess, mess around or experiment with women and then go back to men and not be considered gay? And so, why is there a double standard there? If a guy does one thing sexually with another guy, why is he always gay? And I'm like, well, yeah, that's pretty gay. That's, I mean, that's, you kind of don't go back from that. It's, it's. I don't know. I, there's something that opens you up to certain things mentally that that's just so hard to get away from. 
I just don't know if that's possible. So I'm I'm with her. I'm with the best friend. Like, gotta let this dude go, cause he gonna be Bruce Jenner in you, you know, 25 years from now, and you gonna be like, this dude told me he did something 25 years ago, and I didn't listen. So I would probably be like, nah, go ahead and separate. But it's a good topic. It's a, it's a, I think it's a, I don't mind talking about controversial things. We don't always have to be right and wrong. You can have your opinion, I have mine, and I'm not downing you or anything like that for your opinion. Me personally, that's how I feel. And I think that it should, it's nothing wrong with being talked about. You know, because these things do happen. And could he had, you know, let a dude go down on him and then be completely over it? Sure. But, that's something to think about. Like, you might got a down low brother. You know, and nobody want that. You know, cause especially with all this, you know, HIV going on and stuff. You just don't know. So, I would probably... I'm, I think I'm rolling with the best friend. You know, but it is interesting. You know, because it is, I guess, a double standard. You know, I get it. Alright, so then, the episode is like... Oh, let me back up a little bit. Let me back up a little bit. So, she finds out that... Her man wiped away that broken pussy video, and now, cause she didn't went all over the city. She didn't cheated with this man trying to get this video taken down of her rapping about her friend's broken vagina, and she's like, <clears throat> her, her man calls and say, uh, "I got, I got it taken down for you," you know, and she's just like, "Oh, I love you so much." Uh, and then he gets a job interview, and now she, like, really loves him. They start, they actually have sex this time. And at the end, he gets up and checks her phone, like, and then it says, oh, we're really not talking no more. He like, what? And it ends with that. And I'm like, oh, snap, it's about to go down. And then the next episode, man, I can't wait. So I'll be watching this Sunday, and I'm going to do another review on it and see how it goes. So I like the show. You know, even there was like a little segue in, in the episode where they had like this Jesus play they went to. It was like a thugged out Jesus play. Something like that. Um, and it that part was kind of funny. And it also gave, you know, tribute or um, I guess other internet actors a um, opportunity. Because it's another, the guy who plays Jesus, he's another... Um, internet famous guy um, and they do a video it's like seven dudes I don't know I I'll post something up here to where you guys see it but um, but it's another another uh, I guess online famous group that does you know skits um, that are really funny and one of the guys was in it you know so I appreciated that you know I, I like how she's you know gives back she's not just you know going for and I'm gonna just forget all about you. You know, she's staying true to who she is, so I appreciate that. Um, but it was—I thought it was a good episode. You guys, let me know what you think. Um, you know, I know it's a very controversial episode. We're all adults. We should be able to talk about it, and you know, not have you know all these negative feelings towards each other. You know, if you feel a certain way, if you feel like you know uh, he, she should have told him that she cheated, or you know, if. Her best friend, what's her name? I gotta, I gotta get her best friend's name, but if her best friend should have stayed with the guy or if she was right about it, I don't know. You know, go ahead and, and uh, comment at the bottom. Uh, but for sure, like, subscribe, and uh, let us and share us. Let us know what your thoughts, what you think. And um, yeah, um, we're Breaker Room Blitz. I'm DeAnthony. I'm out, baby. Peace.